everyone welcome to pumpkin horror we have yet another package to show you I'm believing it's from Ghoulies it's a trick-or-treat studios mask from Ghoulies 2 uh, it's the actual fish mask and I believe that's what it is so we're going to take it out of the box take a look at it and go ahead and review it so I will be right back okay we're back and we pulled everything out of its box and this is in fact Trick or Treat Studios version of Ghoulies 2 Fish Ghoulie Mask. Okay, this is actually sculpted by John Pinkerton. Okay, it is off of the actual second movie and stuff. You uh, where you actually see various creatures. Because I just recently saw it, and I guess there's a huge one that comes out of the lake and stuff. But anyway, long story short. Uh, this was actually uh, sculpted uh, by John Pinkerton, okay? And we're going to be talking about this mask in general. I picked it up for one reason, because of the way it looked. It looked absolutely fantastic. And upon inspection, I got to say, I'm absolutely impressed with it. It looks, it looks not loops, it looks absolutely very cool. The details are spot on. I'm going to show you some close-up shots of this in a second here. I have it inside of a paper towel uh, dispenser, as you can see right now, okay? It seems to be the most logical choice right now. I do got a styrofoam head. I might uh, fit it with the styrofoam head, but I'm going to have to cover with plastic because obviously, according to some uh, resources, uh, styrofoam has a tendency to pull um, moisture out of the mask and make them hard as a rock, so you don't want to do that. So I might leave them in the paper towel. I don't know what I'm going to do with it right now. But uh, long story short, if I put it in a styrofoam head, I'm going to wrap the styrofoam head with plastic so it doesn't make a connection with the latex, okay? Because I want to be able to save them, okay? Because you, you spend a lot of money on your masks, and you obviously don't want to uh, ruin them, okay? So, with this in mind, let's go ahead and get a nice close-up shot of this particular mask. I'm going to shut this off. All right, and what I'm going to do... Now this is going to be a bit awkward because i got to get up really close to the camera here. Alright, now, I'm going to show you the mouth and everything. Let me pull it out of this uh, paper towel holder. Okay. Ah, there we go. Leave that there. Now, before we start this, I will tell you this. It does come with Velcro. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a close-up look of the Ghoulies mask. Let me get a proper grip on this. Alright, there we go. Let's get him out of the way because I'm about to pull him back a bit. Now let's start that again. Okay, alright, that's what she looks like. Hang on. Got to get this right so I can actually see what I ain't doing here. Okay, now, with that in mind, and that's what she looks like up close. Let's check the mouth out. Okay, I got sniffles for some reason. So does he. See, he's got a snotty nose, okay? <laughs> anyway, he's got some deep, dark eyes. I haven't worn it yet. Uh, I will put it on towards the end of this video, okay? But it does have some very cool aspects about it. The detail is ridiculous. All right. All right, as you can see that. It's got throbbing membranes here. The color scheme is very cool, okay? And I will show you the uh, the back of the mask too. So anyway, that is what it looks like. Okay, it's a very cool looking mask. I love the detail of this thing. The color is cool, but the creepiest part about it is the eyes. They're jet black, as you can see. Okay, very cool. Okay, it does come with a mask. I mean, a tag, not a mask. Ghoulies too, as you can see, and that's what it's from. I, I do have all the movies. I believe there's a total of four of these movies. I'm not positively sure. But it is Trick or Treat Studios. The directions on how to take care of your mask. The best way to uh, clean these things if you ever wear them. Is just to simply wash them with soap and water. And let them air dry. Okay. Alright. The back of the mask. Let me show you the actual Velcro on this thing. Okay. Hang on. Maybe it's this way. There we go. Alright. It's got Velcro strips. You want to be careful with this because it's only stitched on by the end and you just kind of 
put them together as you can see right there all right and it does have the hole at the top here that prevents it from ripping okay which is wait a minute, there you go right there where my thumb's at okay put the right angle so you can see the hole now you can see the color scheme is really cool in this mask all right, inside the mask let me get the velcro again so you can see the inside of the mask That's what she looks like inside, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off and put the mask on so you can actually see what it looks like, okay? All right, I'll be right back. This is what she looks like with the mask on. Okay, now hang on quick, can you? There you go. Okay? That's what she looks like. Now I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I've noticed about the mask when I try to put it on is the fact that it has two sections of Velcro on it. One closer to the top and one closer to the bottom, which I originally showed you. So it does have two. So you'll be able to pull it apart wide enough to slip it over your head. Now here's the thing I don't like about it. The actual visibility, eye-wise, uh, is not that good, okay? Uh, because of the shape of the mask and stuff, it can shift on your head a little bit, so it would make it hard for you to see, especially if you turn your head or something like that. The peripherals in it are absolutely worse than the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Even though the Creature from the Black Lagoon has these tiny little round eyes slits, these are even smaller. If you are looking straight at it, it's fine, okay? But if you have a smaller head, this mask... In itself would be hard for you to actually wear and get the visuals so you can actually see out of the mask it is a hard thing to look through so keep that in mind all right but if you're just going to collect this thing as you can clearly see just for display purposes it is absolutely perfect okay but to wear the mask obviously uh, the peripherals the visual uh, looking out of the mask is a little difficult so keep that in mind okay but putting it on if you pull both the velcro straps off you can't slip it on your head even if you have a big head it will work fine in that way but the visuals are the problem for me okay I mean I can look and still see but it's not completely visible where I can see all the way around you know how you got your uh, your peripherals where you can actually see from the side of your eyes there is some obstruction when it comes to the eye slits okay so keep that in mind but anyway this is a fantastic looking mask I don't have no serious complaints about it other than what you know actually seeing out of it that's the only problem that I see uh, fitting wise it would fit anybody's head especially big guys okay if you got those big heads this will fit just nice okay smaller heads a little bit difficult um, in the aspect that if you're smaller obviously it will kind of shift and move a little bit unless you want to pad it up inside then you're fine okay but outside of that the color schemes the visuals, the details, absolutely fantastic on this thing. This thing's ridiculously cool. All right, it's been a while since I've seen this movie, but anyway, the only thing I don't like about it is the visual, uh, is the visibility, eye-wise. Other than that, the, the mask is absolutely perfect. Okay, and you can put it on; it's perfect. Okay, the um, the actual thickness of this mask. It's not too bad in the scheme of things. It's your standard thickness, okay? So I'm going to show you what it looks like here. Get a proper grip of this thing here. It is. There we go. So it's pretty thick. It's not too bad, okay? So it is a pretty thick mask here, as you can feel. It's really nice. It's a nice thickness to it. But outside of that, I don't have too many problems with this thing. It cost me $49. It's cheaper than most of the Trick or Treat Studios masks. Except for when you get into the new Michael Myers mask, like Halloween Kills. They jumped up to almost 80 bucks a piece, okay? But these are like $49 plus shipping and handling. Still a little bit cheaper, but very cool looking. Anyway, this is Pumpkin Horror. This is the Ghoulies 2 fish mask, okay? And hopefully we'll see you guys at the next video. You guys have yourselves a good night.